When our debating team were very successful and won the national debate, and uh, as a prize, they were actually awarded a all ex expenses paid for holiday to New York. Uh, this reached the newspapers, the local Victoria newspaper, and in the newspaper, the mayor uh, got to see us uh, in one of the pictures. And uh, we were fortunate enough to be invited to attend the mayor's chambers for breakfast. And uh, at the breakfast, the mayor said to us, uh, if you'd like to contribute towards success. Uh, and as I said, the uh, motto of the Chwani municipality is uh, igniting excellence. And Crawford College uh, is striving for excellence in everything we do. And uh, he offered to pay for the air tickets. And then I said, to, uh, well, they were fortunately already covered. All expenses were paid, and then he said he would like to then make it a, a contribution to Crawford College to use as we see fit to spread this excellence around. Uh, I approached my deputies, uh, Anthony being one of them at Ferencberg, and I uh, said to him, I think we need to uh, think of how we can assist people uh, in, in other schools that are less privileged and less fortunate than ourselves. Um, and exactly a, a year ago, we went to the head office. Uh, we actually met Philippine and we handed our schedules there. I think my office is where things happen, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and they had made a special request to come on this particular day because normally we have a, um, a school where everybody comes, but because they were early with their schedules, they, they came before the time. And then they wanted to know which school would be the best to help. And as an official, you know, uh, you are a centre and you can even give people relevant information. I thought of 20 secondary school because it was for the first time that I had a great work this year. The idea was that um, teachers would benefit, the, 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 the learners would benefit. Crawford is one of our best schools in D4, 20 South District would also share the expertise with, 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 with the, the new school that was upcoming. So when I made a suggestion, the principal and the deputy principal were very happy, and they even asked me to contact Mr. Ngoma, who's the principal, and immediately when they went out of my office, I went to the phone, called Mr. Ngoma, and was willing to say, yes, I, I really accept the offer, and that's where it started. And all along, the, the vision was to not just uh, coach the children, but also to see if we can't also coach the, the, the teachers, that they would be in a better place a year later. Um, in that way, we felt that the, the mayor would get real value for his money. There was a shortage of time, so the Crawford staff uh, had to buy into teaching on five afternoons, which they did. They were very keen to take on this project. Uh, and then it culminated in a winter school, which was uh, in June, July holidays. Um, where we used to go, our Crawford bus was going to fetch the Chinese students from the school, uh, bus them to Crawford School, and uh, they attended the various lessons. Um, and then the, the, the last thing we did was I said that there must be some kind of reward for the kids who actually do perform well and uh, do produce the hard work. And uh, we came up with a, to have a little prize giving. And it was actually at this prize giving that Mola was unknown to him. Uh, was singled out by <coughs> the Vasta College. Uh, we gave him the information that he was the best performing student, they had performed consistently the best and improved by the most marks. Um, and I think it came as a great surprise to him. And it's actually great to see a project of this nature actually pan out the way it has. He's a focused student and very hardworking, cooperative, and um, always doing his work listening to his teachers and always wanting to achieve his goals. My name is Lesson Lupila and I, I attend school at 20 secondary and due to my hard work I was awarded a, a person from University College. I'm gonna study become accounting next year. It will be at the Motura campus, at the Motura campus at University College. Well I knew that I want to become well I, I want to become an accountant. And I knew that when I was in, in grade 10, late November grade 10, that's when I realized that you know what, this is, this is what I like, this is what I want to be in the future, and I'm comfortable with that. So yeah, there's this thing called the, this concept called the 3Ds, 
required dedication, desire, and discipline. Obviously, you need to have those in order to uh, do anything you want. So, for me, hard work, it's just putting your mind to something and then being disciplined. Because you can like, set goals, but you can't really reach them if you don't implement the goals. So, that's what hard work is. It was actually uh, three, three days before the, the awards, because they were giving awards, and then I happened to be the one that was awarded the most. Well, Clearly because now I have a bursary, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess up, it's not an option. I have to I have to be successful. Uh, if nothing else, we've given one young man an opportunity which he probably wouldn't have had before and I think uh, that, that is a great satisfaction, a sense of achievement. Um, and I'll, I'll speak on behalf of the staff as well, if you put hours into this, uh, it, it right from the word go, they were seriously on board. And I don't have to coax any of them to actually coming on board. Uh, they actually enjoyed the idea of spreading this Crawford excellence and the Crawford magic to people that are less fortunate than ourselves and our students. And it was, a, it was a great challenge. The staff rose the challenge, but at the same time they also asked him to rise the challenge and he did. And I think it's fantastic that uh, he now has this opportunity and uh, BCOM said so maybe just the start. And uh, well done for all your hard work and as you said, hard work definitely does pay off. And when they when they called up my name, I just I yeah, like it was like yo I don't even have the words to express it. It was just exhilarating for me. I was surprised, I was happy. Fortunately I couldn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept it together and yeah. That was, yeah.